children, the playing. The little girl, she's she's cute, happy, but something's not right. He's evil. She doesn't know what's going on. There'll be blood. She's terrified. She's never. These are the true stories of real cases and the psychics who help investigators solve their most baffling mysteries. Nine one one, where is your emergency? My children, they're missing. I don't know what to do. They're gone. Everything's gone. Have we received a nine one one call from a distraught woman by the name of Debbie Keys? Uh, reporting that her children had been taken from the family home. I was sent to the house to take an initial report and begin an investigation. How you doing? Hi. Give us a call? Yeah. Today, what's going on? Yeah. Well, I just won a custody battle, and I was supposed to come to the house and take custody of my three children. She found the house totally empty. Uh, as well as her ex-husband and the three children gone. Did you leave anything behind that would give you a clue as to where he went? All of our paintings, all the kids' clothes, everything else was totally gone. Callie was eight, Kristen seven, Jason four. I was beside myself with worry. I, I just couldn't believe that he would do such a thing. Detective Lou Masterbone is assigned to the case. I was dealing with what they call a parental kidnapping. The court order stated clearly that the children belonged to the mother. So our main concern was the children, their safety, and their health. All right, anything else you got to add? No, that's all I have at the present time. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. All right, bye-bye. The first thing we did was we went to the school and asked them if they heard anything about the girls at all. Well, I checked with the principal and found out the girls had not been there for two to three days and he had no idea why. No one can offer police any leads on where the children and their father might be. We had to find him first to be able before we could take any action. One AP people put out on this. Just be stopping hell for this jurisdiction. Mars County Sheriff's Office on the air to all cars and stations. We're stopping hold on a buddy keys. As each day passes with no sightings reported, the ex-husband could be taking the children farther and farther away. I was extremely upset. I would try and figure out where he would have taken them, and I had really no idea. The days turn into weeks. As the search continues, the mother's lawyer, Dennis Cipriano, works closely with police. All efforts are focused on building a strong case against Buddy Keys. Hey, Lou, this is Dennis. Dennis and I, every day we talk, we were getting more and more frustrated. The difficulty back then, and in, under New Jersey law, a parent could not be charged with kidnapping his or her own children. In order to get a warrant for the arrest of Buddy, I can apply to the court for an order of contempt. It's a clever plan, but there's still a major roadblock. Police first have to find him. That was the only problem. Bye-bye. He was not in the state of New Jersey, and we had no idea what to do. We had so many ups and downs. We go with this case 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There were no sightings, nothing at all we could go on. Five agonizing months pass by without any sign of the ex-husband or the children. Debbie Keyes is desperate for answers. I created a flyer with the three kids' pictures and the description of my ex-husband and my phone number. My guest today is a lady named Nancy Weber. Nancy, tell us, what exactly does it mean to be a psychic? 
I heard about Nancy from the local radio station here. Um, she had done some work finding some missing children, and I thought, oh, maybe she can help me. I never used a psychic before, but I was desperate, and I would do anything to, to look for the kids. Hi, I just heard a program featuring Nancy Weber, the psychic. I began working with the police, and over years I discovered how sometimes a description would lead to a confession or evidence. When Debbie told me some of what she had been through, my own personal experience in life had been very dramatic too. And I identified with her very strongly. Nancy Weber agrees to meet with a distraught mother. I'm Nancy. Nancy? Yes. Hi, Debbie. Let's take a walk and let's take a look. Okay. Let's see what we okay. can do. If you brought the photos, that would help. Okay. I'll take a look. That's your baby. Yes, Jason. Okay, I, I need to walk for a moment. Bear with me. Let me just see what I see for a okay. second. Okay. When I look at a photo and there becomes this moment where I know I'm making a connection with this person, the, the yeah. colors, the tone of their voice, everything about it tells me I'm making contact. <laughs> Somebody's in the kitchen. Who are you? I see two girls, a little boy. Oh, I can feel the tension. They are not happy. The little girl's angry. They don't like that person. Who, who are you? I see a woman with the children. It's a woman. Do you know who it is? She's been bossing the children. Something's really wrong. Their clothes are so tight. She's acting like it's hard to handle these sweet kids. She'll marry you. See you, man. Hmm. Their father. She'll marry you. She's crazy. She's never coming back. There is such a rage inside him. So He's violent. I would look at the father and I would feel a very violent nature. I would not feel it directed at the children. I couldn't believe that she would know all this information just from the pictures that I had brought to her and know what my ex-husband was like. Can you tell me where they are? Let me see if, if something comes to me. And... Where are you? You have a road atlas or something we can look at? Here's the map. Thank you. Seeing the map of Texas, feeling my body being pulled like a magnetic field, mm -hmm. drawn to the west and down. Yep, right there. Um, Euless, Euless, Texas. Euless. Psychic Nancy Weber pinpoints a small town on the outskirts of Dallas, Texas. She did give me the hope that I will see the kids again, which was all I lived for. When Debbie said to me she contacted a psychic, my first reaction to her was, are you nuts? I mean, this is ridiculous. Despite the detective's reservations, he agrees to follow up on the psychic's prediction. I checked with the school board in Ulysses, Texas and asked if they were enrolled in the, in the school. I'm looking for two children, Kristen and Kelly Keyes. Oh, they are enrolled there. Wonderful. With the entire country a potential hiding spot, 
the psychic has given the precise location of the children. The psychic said they were in Ulysses, Texas. I was totally shocked. I said, I can't believe that she knew that. So I finally had something. This is our first break. The Ulysses, Texas school board he gave me the address of an apartment complex in Ulysses, okay. Texas. I immediately called the authorities there and asked them to go to this address. It's a dramatic turn in the investigation. The Texas Rangers sent two officers to the apartment. They entered the apartment. They arrested the man. That evening, the exciting news comes into the lawyer's office. I had my fingers crossed. I'm saying, please, God, let this be the call that we were waiting for. Mr. Cipriano, we've arrested Buddy Keys. What about the three children? Children? There weren't any children. They got him. They got him. They got him. Thank you. You arrested him? In a dramatic breakthrough, Texas police have finally arrested Buddy Keyes, father of the three missing children. And I, at first, I was just jubilant. We finally accomplished our goal. And then when I asked about the children, and I was told, what children? We don't have any children. That got me scared. And their mother, is she black or white? What? No, no, no. No, the mother is white. And then they realize the mistake. They arrested the man in Ulysses, Texas, with the same name, Buddy Keys. But it happened to be that the man they arrested was black. I was just absolutely amazed. How could it possibly be that two men of two different races with exactly the same name could be in the same area? But amazingly, the Buddy Keys police are looking for lives in the same apartment complex. Since we were reasonably certain that the location was correct, we requested that they go back. It was the right location. He and the children had been there, but he was gone. Despite all their efforts, Buddy Keys remains one step ahead of police. I went from an extreme emotional high all the way down. We knew he was there, but they didn't get him. I could not believe this. I was frustrated. We were spinning wheels. We had nothing to go on, nothing. Investigators are back at square one. After the sighting in Texas, I didn't hear a thing for at least 10 months. I had no idea where they went. Police are at a loss. I wanted to go back to Nancy and find out if she could give us any more information. Hello, Nancy. Take the master phone. Would it help you at all if we go to the apartment in Texas where the children were last seen? Yes. OK, great. It's a long shot, but the detective hopes that a visit to the now vacant apartment in Texas will reset the psychic back on the trail. This is the last place they were seen. This is this stuff is... from Debbie. Thank you. From Thank the kids. You. Oh, good. Can you tell me anything? I can still feel their presence here. My body felt like it was being pulled west. I can smell the ocean. I hear waves. I hear waves. It's not far from the ocean. I can smell it. It's warm weather. But California. They're in California. I can see some sort of sign. Mm. An R. R. A city beginning with R. I see a house. It's a quiet neighborhood. There's a street sign. I see some gravel. It's not a name, just the letter E. And then street, E street. A city beginning with R. Ramona. Ramona, California. Ramona? Ramona, California. E street. Ramona. For her to pick up on Ulysses, Texas, out of nowhere, she had to be right about Ramona, California. That was my gut feeling. 
I got on a plane and flew to San Diego County, California and met with the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. So where is it we need to go? We have to go to E Street and... Uh... It's a long shot, but Detective Lou Masterbone heads to E Street, Ramona. Okay. I had no street address, no number. I just had E Street, Ramona, California. And we started going house to house. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank Have you. a nice day. Sir, yep. can, I, can I talk to you for a minute, please? Sure. Incredibly, their gamble pays off. Canyon, New Jersey. Have you ever seen these three children? Yeah, yeah, those are the neighbors. Uh, no. The police are astounded. This time, the psychic has even identified the exact street where Buddy Keys is living. But there's a problem. But they moved out. You're kidding me. I missed it by how much? He told me that they left two or three days ago. I believe they were moving to Hawaii. You're kidding me. I was totally upset. Why? I came all the way to California hoping this would be the end. They're gone. And then to find out that they went to Hawaii, we had to go through it all over again. But the detective's luck takes another dramatic turn. But he was bragging about going to Hawaii. And he left him an address in case any packages came so they could be forwarded to Hawaii. Police have been given the address in Hawaii, but will they get there in time? For Debbie Keys, the recent months have been devastating. The frustration level in this was unbelievable. I wanted to give up a thousand times. I thought he was way too smart for me, that I would never, ever be able to find him. But then I'd call Nancy and she would make me feel better. Hello? Hi, Nancy, it's Debbie. Now, when is this going to be over? Debbie, I really have a strong feeling this time. This is different. This is not like before. Something happened recently, so let me just take a look and tell you what I see. One moment. <laughs> Something happened. I see some blood. I see blood. It's on the little girl. Psychic Nancy Weber sees blood in her vision. Debbie Keys fears for her children's safety. I was petrified for them, whichever girl it was, and I didn't know who it was. Blood. I see a dog bite. She'll have a couple of stitches when she comes home. I see them coming home to you, honey. This is for real. And I see this arch, and I see your, your children, all three of them, walking through this arch. Those three children will come out through that arch into your arms. Friday and Saturday. I see you united with your children. Are you she sure? told me this is it, that I will see my children. When I get to Hawaii, they will be waiting for me. I was thrilled. I was absolutely elated, and, and I couldn't wait. After a nerve-wracking chase across the country, police finally locate Buddy Keys and the children in Hawaii. The officers went to the house. And he happened to be home with the three children. He did not resist the rest, and the three children were taken into protective custody. Debbie Key's ordeal is finally over. It was an absolutely incredible feeling. It was just like Nancy described. It was 4 p.m. under an archway, and Kristen was the little sister, you know, looking up to the big sister, and with a little red scar on her lip from a dog bite, and Jason was just a little guy. It was wonderful to see him. I was thrilled. We hadn't seen each other in 13 months. If it wasn't for Nancy, we would have never gotten these children back. She was the key to this whole puzzle. Working with Nancy was very gratifying. She gave me hope, and she gave me courage. Everything she said came true. It was absolutely amazing. This situation, this 
crisis in life. Put a bond between all of us that I don't think anything could ever break. Her insight, her help, we couldn't have done it without her.